Thank you, Mr. President. We welcome the bridge down agenda proposed by Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Motley, as the first step towards an international financial system fit for the 21st century. A few months ago at COP27, we arrived at the historic, brave and just recognition of the liability of the global north for loss and damage in the global south. The idea that those most affected by climate change are those least responsible for it and least able to adapt and should not be forced deeper into our debt to pay for the damage we inflicted upon them. As tropical storms increase in frequency and catastrophic intensity due to climate change, Caribbean islands incur billions in damages and are obliged to take on unsustainable debt for humanitarian aid and reconstruction. Hurricane Maria in 2017 brought $1.3 billion of damage, and that is two and a half times the annual GDP of Dominica. Clearly, the UNFCCC's means to address loss and damage are exhausted. This is why we must push for a new climate Bretton Woods, a radical transformation of the global financial architecture with climate justice at the forefront and debt relief to provide the fiscal space to invest in just transition, adaptation and civic rotation protection for those that need it most. We must also heed the calls of Mia Motley to place a loss and damage levy on fossil fuel companies, bearing in mind that in 2022, Total global north to south climate finance was $90 billion, which is a quarter of the profits of just six fossil fuel companies, which were $360 billion. Clearly, it is time to end the current neoliberal global economic order, which has prioritized corporate profits over democratic development and is endangering human health, planetary integrity and global peace. This new financial architecture must be based on principles of equity, solidarity, and sustain common progress within our common planetary boundaries. By prioritizing climate justice, debt cancellation, and systemic transformation of the financial system, we can build a sustainable and just world for all. So, dear Commissioner, 2023 is critical, and as a major donor to the World Bank, we urge you to lead an ambitious reform with people, democracy, and planet at its heart. Thank you.